Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the tutorial on how to apply for an SAM grant application to one of our programs in the new SAM Foundation Grant Portal system. My name is Dan San Buenaventura. I am the IT manager here at SAEM, and I will be your speaker today for this tutorial. We also have Dr. Nicholas Moore and also Dr. Bryn Muma, our grants committee chair and vice chair, along with Melissa McMillan, Director of Foundation and Business Development, to help answer any questions in the chat box throughout this presentation. In order to make sure that you guys know where the chat box is, it is located at the bottom of your Zoom call. So please feel free to put any of your questions during the presentation. This tutorial will show you the overall view of how to sign in to the system, apply for a grant, and what are the stages in the part of this process. If you have any questions again during this tutorial, please feel free to put your questions on the chat box function at the bottom of the screen. So first off first, just wanted to share off a couple of web links to keep on your computers during this presentation. We do have our SAM Foundation Grant Portal link, which is the www.saem.smaapply.io. We also have the link to our SAM account so in case if you do not have an account with us yet at SAEM, you can create one uh, instantly and it is free. And it's at www.saem.org forward slash join. If for some reason you forgot your SAM login credentials, you can always email us at helpdesk.sam.org. And if you have any questions on our application process, you can email us at foundation at saem.org. So first thing is first, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys the website. So hang on one second. So as you guys can see, if you go to sam.smeapply.io, you will be in the SAM Foundation Grant Portal website. In order to log in, you will go to the right-hand side of the screen and click on login, and then sam.org member login. Once you click on that, it will show you this page and you will put in your username and your password. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. If you're using Google Chrome, you probably have it saved in your uh, saved passwords. It'll be a lot more easier to sign in. And again, if you did forget your password, you can always email us at helpdesk at sam.org for any assistance. So we're gonna go ahead and click sign in. And once that goes through, I'm gonna click on myself as an applicant. And then basically right here, you will see the first page of all applications that probably you have applied before, either last year, um, and then you will see a history. Otherwise, if you don't, you will see it as a blank page. But if you go to programs on the top right-hand corner, you will then see the programs that we have available that you can apply for. So for today, we're gonna go ahead and do the research and education grant, and we're gonna apply for the Research and Training Grant RTG. And the way how I did that was I went to click more on the Research and Education Grant section, and then I can see a whole list of all the grants that have been offered for this area. If you need more information about the grant, you can simply click on the link. It will open up to a new tab, and then you will see on our SCM Foundation website more information about that whole grant itself. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and click on Apply. So the first screen you're gonna see is to how to name your application. The format that we do it as is you're gonna put the name of the principal investigator and the grant you're applying for. So for example, I have today for an ex uh, as our sample is Scott Van Epps', um, Van Epps application. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go ahead and put, oops, sorry, Scott Van Epps, comma, RTG which then is basically for the research and training grant. Once you have that entered in, you will also see that there is a limit for the number of characters, so make sure that you stay within that range. You go ahead and click on Create Application. Once from there, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna be inside now the beginning procedure of creating the application, filling it out, putting all the documents, et cetera, et cetera. But first thing is first, we're gonna go ahead and do the grant selection form. That's the very first form you will see and you need to complete. 
So from there, I'm going to go ahead and choose RTG and I'll hit next. The next page you're going to be seeing here is a set of eligibility questions. You will need to make sure that you answer all these correctly in order to be eligible. Otherwise, if there will be one answer that might be off, the system will notify and let you know that you're ineligible for that specific grant. So for this one here, I'm going to say, yes, I'm a current SCM member. Does the principal investigator have an MD, DO, PhD, or any designation equivalent to it? Yes, it does. Does the principal investigator hold a university appointment? Yes. And then has this person by chance have um, signed up for a grant before? And I know I would say no, because this would be the first time that I'm actually going to be doing this for that person. Once I have all that answered up, you can hit next. And then you will see, it will say, you are now eligible to apply for this grant. You can click mark is complete below, and then click on the application task on the left, start your proposal. The nice thing about it is that when you see this green complete, mark is complete, it means that you have completed that stage. Once you click on it and you can move on. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Once it goes through, it will show you a preview that is saying that it has been done. And now you will see that there's more application uh, forms to fill out now on this section. So I'm going to go ahead and do the research and education grant form. And I'm going to go ahead and start filling it out. So on the title of the project, is based on your application on the PHS 398 form. So the title for this one is called Exotic Engineered Services. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. All right, and then I'm gonna put the last name. So I'm gonna put it there next. So. So now if I did like an address, I always normally just put the, uh, put an address for, uh, for now for an example, but you put the mailing address of your institution or what you have on the application. Go ahead and keep filling through. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill these out. And then pull out the money. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put random amount. Organization name. Yeah. All right. Type organization. State. Yeah. And then we'll see one for more. And now also too, during the process, if there's at a point that you need to step out of the application and need to move on to another task, or if you need to step away and do it on another day, there is the option where you can click save and continue editing at the bottom of each application's process. So if I did click on that, for example, it will show a half circle on your screen. And basically that means that it is partially done and it needs to be completed at at some point in time before it can be able to proceed to the next steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and plus the nice thing though too is that if you were in the process of filling up the application, you will see that there is some messaging showing like an answer to this question is required, so you need to fill it out. And it's like basically this with required fields. So as you can see, there's more and more. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some dates on to get them out of the way. Going through, send so the address again. Okay. Put my email address. And then for the center of the organization, so I'm going to put my manager. Okay. And then I'm going to click save editing. So now if I was going through again, it's still saying that I still need to check for your answers below on the screen. So it looks like here I need to put in a special format. So um, please make sure that you put your phone numbers with the actual dashes on there. So just the system will accept it. And keep scrolling through. And it looks like the last parts we have, again, telephone again. And then we sign. So uh, just making sure that this needs to be signed and remember to complete it 
um, as part of your DHS 3ID form. Um, and it'll be signed electronically. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign it myself. And then I'm gonna go ahead now, if I click save and continue editing, now you'll see that the message is gone. So now it means that all the fields in this form are answered, which is perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just scroll through one more time, to make sure everything looks good. And then I can go ahead and click as mark as complete. So now once that's finished up there, now you'll see the green check mark again, just like the grant set selection form itself. So check mark and check mark. Now I can go ahead and move on to the next section. So if I need to go do an upload of the face page project, um, make, make sure though that each of your documents are set to a PDF. Um, but if you do need assistance and make sure to remember what uh, format it is, you can simply click on show accepted formats, and then you will see it says PDF. There are some other sections here that require, that can have um, different formats. For example, like the bio sketch you can accept in PDF as well. Right here. So like the, for example, the resources and research strategy, um, you can do a PDF, a Microsoft document, uh, or Microsoft document X, which is basically the Microsoft Word premium version, um, you can use that on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start from the beginning. I'm gonna do the face page first. So I'll make sure that I have all my documents saved on my computer. I'll click attach, and I'll do the first page. Go ahead and click open, let it upload. So there we go, it's a nice fast upload. And click this mark is complete. Then the budget, same drill. You can do PDF as well. And basically there's also instructions as well on each of these phases where you can follow through and make sure that you get the actual correct formats so these are all attached. So I'm gonna go and do the budget. That's complete. And the bio sketch. Go ahead and get that upload. Good. Resources. And so now, as you can see, I actually accidentally clicked on research and uh, resources and research strategy again uh, to refresh the page. And you can see it's showing a half circle because it did not click mark as complete yet. So I can actually go ahead, if I don't want to submit that yet, because I might be saying like, oh, there might be something missing in there or it might be the wrong file, I need to come back to it. You can simply go to another phase and still complete the other stuff and leave that as a half circle. And the one thing that's really nice with this system here is that it will not let you submit your whole application yet, not until all these sections here are marked with a full check mark circle. So as long as those things are all filled out, then you can be able to submit it. And this button right here, right below, can be able to say you can submit your application. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the last two sections real quick. So let me go ahead and do the letter support. So that's right here. All right, the mark is complete. And the references and appendices. All right, the mark is complete. And then now I can go ahead to the research, uh, research and resources strategy. And then I'll just say, okay, this document looks good. But also, if you want to remove this, you just click on the three dots on the right hand side and you can simply remove it. You can download it or you can preview it or you can edit it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it real quick and I think that's the wrong one. So I'm gonna go ahead and reattach it again. And hit open. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mark this complete. Now, as you can see that all eight of eight tasks are complete. It means now that submit button is ready to be clicked on, but you can always double check. You can do a review once you click on that. You can go ahead and see all the stuff that's been submitted for. So the eligibility, the application form, everything is all answered. All right. And then there's the documents for attachment. So there's the first attachment, the second attachment, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So there's all the documents right there. 
So once you are pretty much satisfied with the whole application itself, you can go ahead and click submit. But uh, there's actually one more section I would like to show you guys uh, as another tip as well. So if I go back to my application, uh, which is Dynamics. So there's a section right here called the Add Collaborator. Co collaborator excuse me. And the Add Collaborator is basically if you need to have either your um, instructor or if you need another person that will, need, that will be also reviewing your application, you will be adding that person here. And once you add that person, they will receive an email from SurveyMonkey Apply, which is where our, where our SN Grant portal system is located at. Um, they will receive an email to be able to grant access to your uh, application. And then they can be able to make edits on it, they can review it and be, before you submit it. So then once everything is, is set here in stone, all the places have been filled out, you can simply click on the Submit button. Once you click on the Submit button, it will go ahead and tell you, please confirm your submission of your application. If you wish to take a look at the submission before submitting, you can click Review. And if you click Review, it will then take you back into that same page that we were at just a few minutes ago, where you will review your whole entire application. Once you are completely satisfied and you're ready for submission, you will go ahead and click Submit your application. And I will go ahead and click Submit. And then now it says your application has been submitted. You can go simply now at this time to My Applications, or you can view for more programs if you like. So I'm going to go ahead to My Applications, and then I can see on here, there it is, Scott Van Epps RTG. It has been submitted and viewed. And now that this thing has been submitted, it will now go into the phases of review uh, with our reviewers. And then um, you will be able to view the status and activities of how your application is, which I will show you right now an example of it. If I went into this application that I submitted for before, um, you can see here that there is another tab added before. Before you probably only saw the application and activity. Now there's the review. And the reviews here can show you um, also what stage that they're in, what the reviewers uh, like present right now, this thing finished the grant review section, and also the award overall summary. So you can be able to view them and see the comments and, and what they have given. And then you can basically from there be able to preview your application. And as you can see here, there was also a collaborator, collaborator included. Uh, so that was another person that was able to view my application that I submitted for, for review. Um, so that is pretty much where the general aspect is of our SM Grant Portal system. Is there any questions at this time? If you have any questions, make sure they were submitted on the chat function. We can answer them for you. Thank you, Dan, for this presentation. It's very helpful to see the whole system together and how to upload. Um, if we have any questions coming in the chat, we have just a couple minutes to answer them. Otherwise, Dan, I was hoping perhaps you could show us um, where to find all of the programs again. If we will, if a person would like to apply for the August 1st deadline, where do they find all of the grant programs? Absolutely, that's a great question, Melissa. So let me go ahead and reshare my screen on the other side. So in order for you guys, again, to go ahead and find all those applications, you can simply go to, let's say, go to the programs in the portal. And I'll go back into the research education grant. I can simply click on one of these guys right here. And then it will lead me to the website. Or otherwise, you can always go to www.sam.org forward slash sam-foundation. And you can see all the grants as well that we fund for that are due by August 1st. Wonderful. Thank you, Dan. Well, we don't have any other questions today, so I think we can go ahead and end the tutorial. If any other questions come up, please feel free to email us at foundation at saem.org. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you, everyone.